So a lot of time when we want to transport uh, iFlows, we want to have uh, a way to configure the externalized parameters. That normally you would do that after you import the object into the target system, the QA or productive, apply the changes uh, to it and then deploy it. It means an extra step in the process and an extra place where you can get to make mistakes and not have approval on it. We wanted to make this a lot easier for customers with the uh, FIGAF tool. And that means that once you're creating the transport, as we can see here, we have the options to look at all the externalized properties and configure these. So let's just have a look at this. So here we have an iFlow. We can see it is not defined in the QA system yet. We can see here that it says some of these values are just uh, search replaced because we know that HANA dev is replaced to, to this. We know that QA uh, services is changed to this O data services. So we don't need to remember all our SAP host names. We can, of course, go in and say here, uh, December 5th and use that as a way when we're dealing with this. So let's just say save here. So we will go through all of these. But obviously sometimes you can have larger volume. So if we do a full change, we could look at the transport here and we can see here, we have already seen, we changed this API key here to de December 1st. If you wanna make changes to more than this, we just go in here and just say here, this is not going to be used here. No, here we will write December yeah so this one's probably not ideal <laughs> since Excel um, so we have the option to go in both do validations on this and obviously we can go in and expand all the columns so they are the ideal um, to check, did we remember all the host names uh, places we need? So we'll save this and we'll go back to the tool. We'll just select upload here. We can find the value file create, validate. This will see what is actually all the changes that has happened. So it takes these values in and we press submit. And now when we look at, at the file here, we can see that it has up updated these things. Now I can send it to approval and as an approver I still have the option to reuse this uh, this parameters report. I can also see based on these exceptions whether any of my iFlow parameters have changed. All these things if I approve it I can approve it and then once we have imported it the iFlow will be configured with the specific properties making the process much more streamlined. Um, much less error prone and allowing you actually to have governance in place for all your externalized parameters. I hope you like this and want to try it out. It is a part of the FIGAF DevOps tool and this is all about making you as a developer more productive and creating a better result. Thank you for, for, for viewing and I hope you like and share this video. Thank you.